Okay, everybody, it is me, Gregory Manorino. It is Monday, June 14, 2021. Time for you and I to get back to work here, people. Uh, it's, um, it's already a freak show, and I want to talk about that. So this morning, I'm watching Bloomberg pretty much every morning. When I get up, um, I turn on Bloomberg and CNBC. Well, Bloomberg this morning is uh, kind of over the top. They parade out some economist, okay, uh, completely and 100% totally brain dead imbecile. And, and, and I'm even referring to the, the commentators as well this morning because this guy that they parade out here, his narrative is, well, pretty much what we've been hearing. Our economy is booming and inflation, although it is spiking at its fastest pace in history, it's only temporary. Um... What I don't understand, really, and maybe you can explain this to me, is why not one of the three commentators asked this guy, number one, well, where is the economy booming? And number two, how do you figure that the inflation that we're seeing is just temporary? They don't back up anything. Again, that proves to me that they parade these freaks out here, the, the expert economists, and, you know, just to read a script, and they just sit there, and they let him talk. Duh, duh, duh. I mean, seriously, people, I don't know. Look, it's all a brainwashing mechanism. You know that. And I assume that the people that are watching this stuff, for the most part, except you and me, you know, we have a few functioning brain cells, so we understand that this is just some kind of garbage narrative, uh, and it's pretty much the same at, uh, throughout all of the major financial channels. It's a joke. However, we got yet another billionaire hedge fund manager coming out with a warning. Let me read this to you real quick. So it's billionaire hedge fund manager Paul Tudor Jones. He said specifically that Fed inflation, Fed, okay, he's pointing his finger at the Fed, is leading to a crisis. Now, if you ask me, we're in a crisis now. We're not leading to anything. However, this is his take on what you should be doing, and it's already what we know. He's saying people should be buying commodities, crude oil, gold, and cryptocurrencies. Sounds like me. I mean, seriously. Um, and, and, and I know you get it too, because you have a functioning brain. Let me explain this to you again. The Fed is... Uh, deliberately creating a currency crisis, and we are in one now. We don't need a billionaire hedge fund manager. Another one. This is the second one that's come out in the last couple of weeks explaining the same thing. Uh, and Deutsche Bank as well. A global crisis being created by the Federal Reserve. That's the key here, okay? It's not... Rising energy prices, crude oil right now, I just checked, is almost $72 a barrel. And it's going much higher, people, much, much higher. Bank of America has a $100 target on it. I think you all know that. I covered it here recently. I explained to you we would hit 70 within a relatively short period of time. And that's exactly what has happened and we're going up. Okay, so we have this issue of uh, in rising energy costs, and they're still trying to blame the inflationary environment on rising energy, just like I said they would before they did it. And again, of course, the, the supply chain disruptions narrative. I mean, it's the same story. Look here. Look here. Don't look here. You're not allowed to know. People are not allowed to know what's happening to them. They just know something is happening to them. But again, turn on Bloomberg this morning. Oh, we're booming and it's just temporary. So don't worry about it. It's unbelievable, people. That's all I have to say. Stock futures right now are pretty much flat uh, across the board. Trading doesn't start for about half of an hour. Okay. The dollar right now under a little pressure despite that. Gold and silver are taking a hit. Each one is down about 1.5%. They're going to keep playing their games, people. This is not real silver. 
or real gold. We're talking about paper derivatives here. However, the hard asset in this upside down environment derives value from the paper derivative. That's how they control it. You all know that. I already spoke about crude oil near $72 a barrel, the dollar lower. 10 year yield is lower too. What is this all about? Again, this is a big week with the Fed. What's gonna come out of their mouths like they already don't know what they're gonna say. Um, they're going to continue doing what they're doing. I know there's a lot of speculation about tapering. It's not going to happen. There's no way. None. The Fed will continue to buy assets in greater amounts. Okay, this is going to increase, not decrease moving forward. The Fed is on the threshold of its stranglehold on the United States and the world and nobody. Not one world leader is doing a damn thing about it uh, and they never will not the last guy president trump the guy before that no 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 all these guys did was empower the federal reserve allow them to keep issuing debt in epic amounts um you know it's an it's an insane thing there's no oversight here the fed has a blank check uh given to them i guess by you and me because you see we don't have a voice it's, it's our impotent um, members of Congress who are slaves to the Federal Reserve. And they're creating a slave nation. They've already created a slave nation and slave citizens. And you all know that. It's pathetic. All right. So in summary here, just real quick, the narrative remains the same. Kind of like you know, the song remains the same. Led Zeppelin, uh, that the we're in a boom, we're booming our economy, and inflation is temporary. I am just waiting for one commentator to have the, you know, B-A-L-L-S, to ask the question of one of these economists. So, sir or madam, tell me, uh, where is the economy booming, and why do you believe that this inflation that is spiking at its fastest pace in history is just temporary? Explain this to us. I mean, really, people, that's where we're at. That's where we're at. Um, and the Fed is going to continue to freaking inflate on a massive scale, along with other central banks around the world. The ECB is increasing asset purchases. The Fed's going to follow suit. So forget taper talk. And that's, that's the expert economist, you know, with the taper talk. They never get it right. Never. It's astonishing to me. Anyway... This guy, Paul Tudor Jones, billionaire hedge fund manager. Listen to his words here, people. It sounds just like me. I mean, uh, he's talking about a crisis coming. We're in one now. Saying to buy commodities, crude oil, gold, and cryptocurrencies. I could not agree with you more, sir. That's the truth. All right, look, I'm out of here. People, uh, please share this video. Get it out there. We got to wake some more people up, really. And I am happy to say... Uh, a lot of you did respond that you are coming to the July 4th party free, 100% free. You're just going to walk in. You're going to walk in and have fun. You and whoever else you want to bring, come to this party. Uh, West End, Lake, Lake Las Vegas, July 4th. You're going to see me. You're going to see the Barrel Buddies. The Crypto Kid will be there. And we're just going to have so much fun. And we're going to laugh and laugh. Seriously. All right. I'm out of here. Uh, I'll see you later. <laughs>